Good morning, good morning kids. Time to go. Let's go on the roof. Here they come, good job. The goats have been a part of uh, our restaurant since 1973. We've been here since 1949, but 1973, the goats came along with the grass roofs all the way from Scandinavia. Getting the goats on the roof is really a um, couple step process. We bring the pickup truck to the farm in the morning. We have a little ramp that we back up to the gate and they run right up onto the tr uh, pickup truck for transport, which is only about, um, what, about three quarters of a mile from the restaurant. Not many farm animals get to leave their pasture on a day-to-day -day basis, but here we go. They love going every morning. Once we get to the restaurant, we have a ramp that we are with a series of steps that they're able to run up those steps and onto the ramp and right up onto the roof for the day. And so they've got the best nine to five working conditions in the country. Every year on my dad's birthday, one of his best friends, Wink Larson, would always give him an animal. And it always ranged from either a duck or a, a goose, or uh, then it kind of graduated into a baby pig, and, and then all of a sudden the goat appeared. When Al was redoing the roof, uh, his friend kept saying, well, you ought to put a goat up there. You ought to put a goat up there. Every day he'd come and bother Al and tell him, well, you ought to put a goat up there. So one day, unbeknownst to Al, Winky went and found a goat, and it was a big billy goat. His name was Oscar. He actually slung it under his arm, and he carried it up the ladder, and this was no small goat. And uh, when he got to the top, the goat leapt to the, the first sure footing he saw, and Winky went down backwards, and I think he busted several ribs, and, and uh, the goat sat there down, looked at Wink Larson, and, and that's how the whole thing really started. He put that goat on the roof in 1973, and the rest is history. Thank you, Wink Larson.